Hello, 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 and thank you all again for taking this Sunday to spend hanging out with me. That is so awesome. Um, yeah, if anyone in the chat wants to say hello, let me know you're there. Today, I am going to be doing, a, it's definitely not a needle felting tutorial. We're going to be doing a little needle felting experiment. I'll call it that. Not really a felt along with me. I just wanted to do this Egyptian Anubis dog sculpture i so wanted to do this and i've not had the time to do anything so i thought this this is not something i've made before i'm just going to make it for the first time and you can felt along with me but it might well be a disaster and of course mia immediately knew hello mia did know that um she was going to be that i was going to be felting so i would need her not to be sitting on my lap so mia is currently sitting on my lap thank you <laughs> so we'll get around to it when uh, when she decides to get down we know that Mia doesn't stream for that long <laughs> but I've pulled up some images just off a google search of Egyptian Anubis dogs there she goes excellent I can get comfy um and what we're gonna do what I was thinking of doing was one of the if you know the dogs um where they're reclining like on top of a tomb rather than the actual dog rather than the god the actual dog if that makes sense um so that's what I'm going to try and make and I'll show you the supplies that I have if you want to felt along awesome if you want to felt along at a later date awesome or if you just want to watch and laugh at me making a disaster but first thing I'll be using noisy sorry um i use these florist wires um for my bigger sculpture because they're 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 thin but they're pretty small uh these are obviously not sponsored i just found them on ebay they're pme floral wires a 20 gauge and they're about 36 37 centimeters long they're pretty long which is really quite cool um i'll let you see i'm going to need two of these for the sculpture so you'll need some wire i haven't decided how big it is i've not planned anything i'll give you a better look at that as well guys um is that i might i'm not even looking at my camera properly um yeah so if you can roughly oh that's cool there we go that's roughly what i'm using and these are the wires they're coated in a kind of paper which doesn't really make much difference but i just like them they look pretty and they're nice and bright and white so they show up when i'm felting so two of these wires i will also have i'm gonna i remembered to fetch down some jewelry pliers i've got some little needle nose pliers and some snips cutters just in case, as I say, not planned out. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or anything else. Um, and for the wool, I will be using buy in bulk, definitely. And this is, can we see here? This is a carded white Coradale black sliver. This is the same as what I use in the white because it's carded, so it's got the fibers going in all direction, but it's a sliver, so it's nice and long and easy to break up and wrap. It's kind of like the best of both worlds, the best of the tops and um, carded bats. It's easier to work with, so I love this stuff. Um, and I just have, for final details, I couldn't find a proper yellow. This is a more orangey yellow. I think it looks more yellow on camera than it is. But just to do some of his details, if we get that far, and this isn't an utter disgusting disaster, um, fingers crossed. So if you're here and hanging out, if you just want to say hello in the chat and see see who we've got, see what's going on, um, hopefully everyone's realised the time changes still i know i know with the clocks changing people can can miss out on things so same we've got five watching let me give us a thumbs up as well so that so that i know you're there <laughs> right so looking to be getting started i have a little image of an anubis am i even saying that right anubis um a small image of that that i'm just going to be basing this on but I don't have much planned out so we'll see how this goes so I'm going to start big bag of noisy stuff oh and I forgot of course a needle as well where have I put my felting needle yeah 
and this is my 38 twist needle in the little needle holder right so that's probably all i'll be using i'll let you know if i use more so starting out um always with my larger sculptures just take my wire folded in half now the anubis when he's lying down he looks like he has super super long legs so that is what we'll be doing uh, so folding it in half and since i have my little needle nose pliers i'm just gonna get that a nice i'm gonna attempt to get a nice crease in that because this is going to be his nose Oh, it's not one to get there we go so that's a nice sharp fold patty hi there good morning it's 8 a.m in california that is early for a sunday yep so i appreciate you being here good morning um right so this this first wire is going to be his head and neck and his front legs so as always i just give this a few twists around his head and his neck i want to leave a fair bit for legs but not going too crazy um oh, i should say when i folded this over i've got a little measuring thing here when i folded this over it's come to about 18 centimeters so let's figure out how far down we're going to wind this okay i think that looks about reasonable which is i've wound down just over seven centimeters to be his head and his neck folding out like that and this is going to be his shoulders so second wire again i'm finding the center point roughly of the second wire and we're popping it over the head and head and shoulders like so so this is fitly to do and show but i hope you can see it well enough so we've got the legs are coming out like this and the second wire is pointing back towards me and i'm just holding in the center here just pinching them together and i'm going to start on this side and just take these two wires and i'm just going to ro rotate them 360 fiddly just go right round. so back to where we were again that the legs the front legs are sticking out this way and the back legs is coming out back but we've got a wee twist there and the same with the second one wrap just twist them quickly 360 so everything's back to where it was and we've got a nice little shoulder joint the back legs are still coming out of the back and i'm just going to fold the front legs down now the anubis sculptures seem to have a very losing the ability to talk seem to have a very straight front shoulder assembly usually i would fold this backwards and forwards on itself but i'm not going to today i'm just going to leave that pretty straight and then we're doing a few twists for his body um obviously because we want the legs to be long then the the body won't be quite so big so right twisting how will that be for the uh, one more twist okay so that is roughly i've twisted from the shoulders to where the legs are going to be i have twisted that and that is just about seven centimeters there we go so i'm going to fold this out the way to give him some hips and down and i worry about I worry about making the hooks and everything else in a little while. Um, but that is the very bizarre shape we've got so far. Fingers crossed for this. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think I'm liking the length of this. I want it to have super long legs. I might regret saying this. Wait and see. D before you make this, skip to the end and find out if I decided that the legs were too long. But what I'm going to do is just using my pliers, just bend tiny fold just at the bottom of these legs so there's nothing jaggy sticking out once he's made so just folding it back on itself that kind of shows up um, and the same with the back legs and that way there's no stabby bit of wire so 
So now I'm going to decide on it's quite a long neck. They have quite a long, narrow neck and a little pointy head. And he's very upright. So <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Don't worry. They always look terrible. Um, right. So this is where we've got so far. Now I'm just going to cover this in wool. So I take my black and I'm just going to break it into manageable chunks. How long are these? These are about... 12 centimeter chunks that's just a length i can manage and i split it down the middle because these are a little bit thick for me and let's see it's fairly thin legs but i'm just wanting to put a layer down so what i do is draft this out slightly so it's just a little longer and thinner um and going to wrap his front legs with this now it's, it can be easier to fold the legs back out a little bit so they're not all in each other's way and i'm going to wrap this slightly round the neck first and then onto the leg so it's holding that's probably not enough fiber at all but so there's no sliding it's just holding onto itself and i can wrap that nice and easily down his leg and that's just about enough i'll probably give that a second coat but for now wrap it nice and tight and then felt it in place it's easier it's easier to wrap a thin coat and then put more on top later than it is to try and put a load on so start start little so there we go, first leg covered. I'm just going to do that for all the other legs. Oop. So how's everyone's week been? What's, what's everyone been up to? I know it's ridiculously, it's a whole lot earlier today than it's usually been for most of the rest of you because of time zones and all terrible things. Tell you, I'm, I'm back here all bundled up and trying to keep warm. For a moment, I thought we were having spring. I thought Scotland was going to be kind of nice, but it's gone freezing again. So my heating's on. Uh, the dogs are curled up sitting on top of me just about <laughs> because it's really cold. Oh, right, that, that layer was much thinner. I'm just going to take a wee bit of extra um, and thicken that up slightly and it's it holds much easier now because there's already some wool on there so i'm just going to wrap wrap back up because i want the legs to be at least fairly similar uh lps in the house hello there how are you doing um yeah so oh you were on holiday this week awesome on holiday anywhere nice or just a holiday from from work just a holiday in the house oh, i would love a holiday i've not been away anywhere apart from visiting my mom um but i've not been away anywhere in such a long time i would really love a holiday also being self-employed right i'm gonna th there's gonna be times when i do rants about how difficult it is selling on Etsy and stuff because it totally can be but the one thing that's really lovely is if it's a beautiful sunny day and I want to go for a drive somewhere beautiful, I want to head to the beach, I can do that and then just work more later in the evening. So there are some benefits. Although I've not been on a holiday, I can still take time to myself and still work that day as well. So it's pretty cool being self-employed. But yeah, I would like to go somewhere. So my friend, now I'm making this Egyptian thing because one of my friends had just had a holiday to Egypt and her pictures um, cruise ship down the Nile um, looked so amazing. Uh, it made me really want to do some Egyptian stuff. <laughs> so, so this is where this idea came from. We'd searched for things and the, the Anubis dog, am I, someone tell me, am I saying Anubis totally wrong? I don't know. But anyway, the Anubis dog just looked so, so cool. I love that. So, I was like, yeah, we've got to make him. Um, but literally, she's just back from that. And then her and a few friends were off at Malta last week as well. Globe, tr globe, globe trotting friends. So I'm totally jealous. But she will be hating being back in Scotland in the cold miserableness. So I suppose there's, there's a 
there's a balance, isn't there? At least I'm used to how miserable and horrible it is. Uh, Lily Tree in the house. Hello there. Um, everybody, you've um Lily has a YouTube channel as well. You can click just to the right of her name and you get three dots that'll take you to her channel. Um, and Lily has just put up an awesome tutorial for a uh, wire wrap. So it's like wire weaving um, daffodil. That's the word I'm looking for. I was going to say narcissus, narcissus. No, I'm not going to say that because I totally can't say it. But um, so a wire, a wire weaved um, daffodil that is absolutely beautiful and does remind me of what we should be having for the weather. We should be having stuff growing and looking beautiful. But yeah, I think we're quite away from having daffodils here. It's it's still freezing. Um, but but yeah, it's beautiful. So if you don't, if you can't have daffodils yet, if they're not growing where you are, then you can make make them with wire. It looked like such a brilliant tutorial, but I think making a dog body is about the limit of my my wire wrapping just now, my wire handling just now. But yeah, so if you're thinking about that, or if you just want to watch, pop over to Lily's channel. Uh, LPS was really nice and warm. I'll tell you that it was hotter than Scotland. <laughs> just about everywhere is hotter than Scotland. Uh, the other day I was out in the car and thinking, oh, it's getting, it's getting really hot now. It's a lovely day. It's proper hot. And then I looked in the car to see what the temperature was. And the car was telling me it was 13 degrees centigrade, not Fahrenheit. I think we'd be dead if it was 13 Fahrenheit. But it was 13 degrees centigrade. And I was like, that is absolutely so not hot at all. But it felt it because we're just so used to utterly freezing. Right. I'm just wrapping onto his body as well, taking some of these little lengths to fatten him up. He doesn't want to be too fat. They are quite ribby. Um, Egyptian type dogs are lean kind of sight hound types. Um, so I want to keep them fairly lean. Uh, Luzzy, Luzzy D? Um, am, I, am I even close? Luz, we'll call you Luz. I, I like I like Luz, I can say that. Narciss, Narcissus, na that word, right? That, that word that you can all see in the chat. And daffodils are the same. Um, they, they are. I'm pretty sure they are. But we've always called the little ones with the different colored trumpet we've always called them that word that i can't say and daffodils the more bigger solid color ones it doesn't mean i'm right i know nothing about flowers apart from if i buy any if i think any are pretty if i look at any then they are going to die um that that's that's pretty much the standard i'm I am death to flowers and especially, oh, especially bonsai trees. I I can't keep bonsai trees alive and I love them so much. So, yeah. So, sadly, I know very little about, <laughs> about flowers. I do like them. I do not deliberately kill them off. Right, I'm wrapping in a figure of eight around his chest to get a bit of a chest going on. Although they do have quite quite a skinny tip chest as well I don't want to bulk that up too much um but I just want to do a little bit um but yeah if I keep this really skinny as well then hopefully it will felt up quite quickly um, because at the minute I'm just so nervous that this won't won't work <laughs> because as I say I've not done this before I've not done anything like this before I'm winging it because I wanted to make this and I don't have time for a separate standalone video. So I thought, right, let's let's chat and felt. Let's let's chat to, <laughs> chat to you all. Freak you all out, because I know this felting in the air still freaks some people out. I I still get I was gonna say abuse. It's not really abuse, but I get from people saying I, I shouldn't be suggesting to people to to do this, to do my danger felting, but this is how I've always done it. I can't I can't use a felting cushion and I certainly couldn't talk to you guys and, and felt on a table that wouldn't work um oh you're all giving me clever names today 
a phalliet is am i close with that one hello there anyway i'm i am sorry to everybody i miss your names um ah lucid <laughs> fantastic so thank you that makes a whole lot more sense lucid I, I like that okay lucid good name um phalia i'm so talented thank you so much um not not there are some if if you haven't already need to search for needle felters there are some people that are amazing i i get by i've, I've been doing it for 10 years so i shouldn't suck too badly hopefully but i'm not not on a par with some people just make things that i'm constantly in awe with i i I can make doodles, doodles with fleece, but some people you just look and it's like, how did that happen out of wool? That is so amazing. So who knows? Who knows? We might finish with this this little guy being a how did that happen out of wool? I have a feeling that'll be more like in the negative direction than the positive. Um, so I'm just felting this all around to start firming it up and to get an idea of where I need to add some more. I can feel as I'm felting this little bit here is going a little bit hollow. So I'm just going to add a couple of little strips into here um, just to pad, pad it out so it's a little more even. And yeah, just smoothing it out. This, as I say, it's a carded white, not white, it's a carded black corridor. Co well, I've literally been streaming for five minutes and I can't say words. It usually takes about an hour before I can't say words. Right, it's it's a carded black corridor slivers and I just find this felt really nicely. Um, I would call it a core wall wool people call them core wool but if i'm just doing a solid black sculpture then i don't add anything fancy on top of this because it felt to a really nice surface so it's my it's my final top coat as well i don't see the need to put a black on top of black to i don't know i i can see if you're doing slightly different colors but no this this black is is lovely and hopefully you'll see that it felt nicely Ho I, I just have such a feeling that I'm going to prove myself wrong today and get it all in total mess. Right, I just want to, for his back legs, you've got the thigh muscle and everything. I just want to chunk this up slightly just now. So I'm just taking a tiny piece and wrapping down a couple of wraps and then up. This is just, just to make me feel better. I'll pad it some more later, but it just makes makes me feel happy to to do that there's no there's probably no real reason to do this it'll get hidden in the final piece but i just want i want the legs to look less like matchstick so i've just added added a little a little junk in the trunk i've added a little thigh and bum muscle going on there but i think i think we're not bad on the size so far the kind of overall leg length and neck length and everything maybe just going to make his neck slightly longer like that yes i think that's a little bit better um lps um almost lost your big cousin in the hotel because it was his birthday <laughs> i found him in his bed so i took his phone to play his favorite song played it really loud and now he hates me oh that's mean <laughs> i like it <laughs> so you almost lost him because it was his birthday. Was he celebrating his birthday quite a lot then? Is he feeling a bit worse for wear because it was his birthday? Good for him. <laughs> uh, paper crane wishes. Hi, hi, hi. Hello there. Good to see you. And oh, speaking of things that we can we can kill, I believe last week uh, Paper Crane did the awesome succulent tutorial thingy. <laughs> I see it was like about half an hour ago, I was sitting going, I could really, I could take a nap. I could go for a nap just now, but I didn't, I soldiered on. So, so here we are, felt in a way. So my energy is a bit rubbish. I'm, I hate Sundays. I'm pretty bad at Sundays. Zimped. <laughs> um, nice to have some company when felting. Exactly. I've never done, um, 
I don't even know if there are any any up here in Scotland, but like felting workshops and things. So I don't know how that works. So I've I've always generally done felting alone, unless there's someone not felting but sitting next to me. Like if I'm visiting my mum, then she'll be there. But um, I've never really done felting in a group so it's nice to have people to chat to rather than just be watching although I have been binge watching Game of Thrones I am um, I'm desperate to make some Game of Thrones sculptures but I'm so busy at the moment but I really want to but I've been binge watching the old series of Game of Thrones and felting away I've got tons tons of orders still to do so I've been felting away to that which is nice but it's nice to have people to chat to so it, it's good it's good when when the chat's nice and busy and I've got I've got things to distract me because yeah it's see if you're doing a tutorial for other things it's kind of good you like when I started doing the doing the wire for this and bend this do that do the other thing and now it's like and now for the next 40 minutes just sit and randomly stab <laughs> while talking um basically <laughs> so so yeah it's when when i'm making this as a video this this is why i say i don't have time to make them as videos because it's really difficult for me to felt sitting at my at my filming station sitting sitting upstairs in my studio i love the way that sounds sitting upstairs underneath the loft bed in a cramped wee space um but i find that really hard i felt much slower when i'm felting there so it takes so much longer and then i do the felting and i end up fast forward in through 90 percent of it because you don't want to see a tutorial that is just involving me going stab 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 um so it's taken me forever and i've cut most of it so i thought right let's let's try this Let, let's do it live but this is risky as well because totally not made this other things when we've done a felt along it's been things I know how to make, things I've made before, things I'm following a tutorial, so it's not my fault if I go wrong. <laughs> but this, yeah, I haven't even got a plan of how I'm gonna make it. I've just got a picture and I'm stabbing along and we might end up with something that doesn't work. I'm, I'm hoping not, I, I, I have faith. <laughs> Uh, paper crane love being around crafters yeah absolutely and that's i'm loving this about youtube you can go on and sit sit down with someone doing anything especially when i'm felting it's the perfect time to sit and watch although it's awkward to then grab my keyboard and type comments to them but it's it's cool to be able to sit and hang out and chat to people while they're they're working on things and see creation oh excuse me <coughs> Coughing up. Wendy, hello there. Good morning. Um, Wendy's been doing the same and binging. Yes, everyone binge. I'm right. Who I can't decide whether tonight I'm going to watch Game of Thrones, the first Game of Thrones, or I'm going to leave it to the end and just binge the entire series. I'm in two minds because if I don't watch it just now, then Facebook will be so full of spoilers. And I do, I like when I'm really into a show, there's a few people on YouTube that I watch that have like conspiracy theories and talking about what happened in the episode and explaining things that I missed. I really needed that. If anyone watched Westworld, I totally needed the people that explained all the things that I was missing. That show was, um, I'm, I'm not smart enough for that show. It was amazing. So I love the people going, did you see that? And did you see this clip? And this was in this place because, you know, it, they dissect like the trailers and they go, oh, this, this shot must be in this location because have you noticed how they, they use more blues and greens in these shots. And you're just like, wow, you have too much time. But wow, also, <laughs> mom, yeah, your bedroom. Yes, the, the loft bed is 
because I have a, a small little second bedroom that I turned into my studio. It's got a loft bed where when mum visits, she sleeps and underneath the loft bed. <laughs> so underneath the footprint of a bed, I have my little desk and my lights and everything. It's like a teeny tiny studio, but it, it, it feels, feels special. It feels like I'm doing important things. <laughs> LPS, oh, on holiday you saw a wild cat. Awesome. And when you got home yesterday, felted it. I love wild cats. I made, um, I felted a wild cat years ago, just when I'd, I'd read up on them. And I love them because um, the, the, the Scottish wild cat is really one of our few native animals. I know there's there's wild cats in Europe, but they are... Um, what the Scottish wild cat is is pretty special to Scotland, and so I love the idea that one of one of our national creatures that the special thing about a wild cat is I might be making this up, but I read it, so it's right. I read it on the internet, but um, wild cats are are a species that cannot be domesticated; they cannot be tamed, which I think is pretty awesome. Although what's not so awesome is they are really. Um, there's very few pure ones left. They've been breeding with stray cats, so there's less of them, but they are awesome. Um, <laughs> Mum and Wendy, yeah. For everyone that doesn't know, Wendy's not really my sister. She's only kind of sort of my sister. <laughs> uh, Wendy, watch it when it airs um, and then binge it all again at the end. That sounds like sound advice because there's very little else that there's not many other shows on the go just now that I'm enjoying. So, um, yeah, that's a good idea. Watch it all and then watch it again. I, I have a feeling I'm going to be disappointed. I can't not be disappointed, but it's like eight years with the same show is a mate. It's, it's like losing family or something. <laughs> I'm going to be bereft. <laughs> but um yeah totally looking forward to it and terrified uh, Wendy quit Westworld after season one I I think the reason I didn't was because I watched all the people explaining it and then I was able to go back and see how clever it was and I really I quite enjoyed season two um so that you know because I had more of an idea of the things that were going on and it was a bit different and you were seeing different different worlds. Um, so I quite enjoyed season two. So yeah, give it give it a go. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, I, I suppose season three will be next year if, or a long time after Game of Thrones because they're not going to put them out at the same time. Um, yeah, sorry everyone who doesn't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're going to have Game of Thrones talk. I should have been felting a Game of Thrones character. But um, Wendy's scared that Cersei wins. I, I don't think anybody will win how it will work out. I, I don't think George Martin is, is quite like that, that he's going to give us something totally cut and dried wind. I think it's going to be... <sighs> I think they're going to save the world, but the world's not going to be how it was when they found it, if that makes it, you know, the world's going to be different. Um, I, I would love um, White Walker zombie Cersei sitting on the, the Iron Throne. That would be visually fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, predictions for anyone who's anyone who's watching game of thrones i've i've not watched any spoilers or anything it's been hard not to so i don't know anything that anyone's guessing at my thoughts i would like sansa and Tyrion to be on the iron throne if it still exists at the end um and oh aria and gendry to be bringing up Jon Snow and Daenerys, Daenerys is his baby because they're not going to make it to the end, are they? 
<laughs> that's that's my guessing. I really, really, really wanted Littlefinger to win, but that there's there's a whole flow in that argument um, now. So I don't think that's going to happen. I wanted Littlefinger to win, <laughs> but anyway. So those those are my those are my predictions. They're very unlikely. <laughs> And and zombie White Walker, how wh how door? <laughs> We've got to see that. That'll be so cool. All right, how are we getting on with this? It's definitely still looking a little bit fuzzy. <laughs> Wendy can't stand little finger. I loved him. He was so conniving. But you do love. Tyrion. Everybody, everyone loves Tyrion. Gotta love Tyrion. Right. I'm going to attempt to start pulling him into the shape that I want just because it makes me feel better that I'm getting somewhere. So putting him into the four square position, first of all. His legs are all different lengths, but that doesn't matter. If I was doing a standing up figure, then that would be a problem. But he's going to be reclining, so that's all good. So just want to bend up his front legs. Wow, they're long, but that's that's right. They're supposed to be long. And then his back legs, I want to, I'm doing the bit away from you. This is hard to do and show you, but I'm going to bend up his back legs into a sitting position. Ooh. <laughs> I really want to do an Egyptian type cat, the mummy cat shapes as well. But actually, I think, I think that shape's kind of working. So we've got, I don't know how well that shows. So his legs curved up like this and his front paws sticking out. And then I can start building up more of what I want. I would generally, if I wasn't, if I didn't have people watching this, <laughs> I would generally um, spend much longer on just felt in the overall shape. I, I'm thinking about it for, because I do it by by TV shows <laughs> roughly. To get the basic blank body shape usually takes a show. So it's about 45 minutes to an hour to get the basic shape before I start on any kind of faffing about or anything. So, yeah, what are we in? I've done about half an hour. Uh, Lizzie, can I show you my picture of Anubis? Um, right. I don't want to screen share because Google, what are we on? Google Hangouts has sometimes crashed when I've done that. So what I'm going to try and do, <laughs> I'm going to try and find it on my phone and show you. We'll see how that works. I thought I should print this out. <laughs> I had thought of printing this out, but I didn't. But I should be able to find the same image if I hit the right buttons. But all I did was I searched for Anubis and then a Google search for Anubis and then hit images to try and find the images. Now, he is very awesome um, when he's standing as the god and everything. But the one I went for, can you guys see that? That is roughly what I'm aiming towards um, because it's quite a lot simpler. I mean, I do love some of the more outlandish ones, like where he's where he stood up. Oh, is this going to show? Yeah, I do love it where he stood up as the god with all his clothing and everything on. But yeah, um, so... This this is just literally a Google search and it came up. Um, <laughs> and yeah, if if my streaming software was still working <laughs> properly, I would be able to screen share this, but I can't really without fear for it all crashing like it did a few weeks ago. Right, so what? Ooh, throwing needles about. Just pulling these legs till they're about similar length and I'm going to add more wool to his back legs as I as I said I would end up doing anyway so I'm just taking a couple of pinches and padding out this area but I don't 
the image is really they're all quite lean as i say um the the modern egyptian dogs that we have nowadays are super lean like they they make greyhounds look look abused look look, look like abused greyhounds they're quite quite slim and beautiful dogs i think they're so elegant looking um but they're very very lean dogs so i'm trying not to add too much bulk to this week a eh? and again i'm not sure how how firmly i'll felt this because basically because i get self-conscious sitting stabbing for hours when i've got nothing to talk about i should have planned should have planned conversations plan ahead um but i like just our little our little chats see how everyone's been going and applaud wendy for getting out of bed because i know it's a big deal and i'm only slightly teasing because I don't think I got up till about 10 o'clock today. I was super tired today. <laughs> so um, I think Wendy's done awesome. <laughs> Everyone's done awesome getting up to hang out because time zones make it a pain. There's so many, like there's YouTubers that I follow and their live streams are for me. They're at two in the morning and it's it's way too way too late for me i can occasionally be hanging about and i'll just pop in and say hello but yeah i feel really i feel really bad missing their live streams <laughs> wendy said an alarm well i totally appreciate that wendy right on this foot i don't know if you can see it but a little bit of his wires just poking out so i'm just gonna wrap up a little extra there i might I don't want to go overboard, but I do want to, yeah, I do want to make him have a little bit of feeties. So I'm just going to get a little bit and break it into four pieces just to wrap around the ends, just to give him little feeties a little bit. Uh, LPS saw a lady felting on soaps and it sounds interesting. Yeah, I tried that absolutely ages ago and it's really cool. What? I would say is felt your design flat for make make a sort of flat sheet first of all and felt your design on that first and then that's much easier i tried to felt around the soap and then try and felt a design on it and that was really quite awkward obviously um but if you felt it as a separate piece and then felt it on felt it around the soap it's much easier and then the fantastic thing you're throw your needle felt in the design you're wet felting it because wrap it round and pour some hot water on it and lather it up and it will it felt even better they're really really cool fun things to do and then it gives you a nice scrubby and a soap all in one so they're pretty cool Oh, Wendy wishes she could felt soap. Tried at Christmas and it was a wreck. <laughs> oh, I'm sure not. You, you're so good at everything else you try. So, but yeah, I think they're cool. They just they were time consuming, bit time consuming for me, and I had other things to work on, so I moved on to other things. But they do look pretty awesome, and if you get nice soaps, like not just plain cheap rubbish ones but if you're doing it with really nice ones it can make a really cool gift oh my nose is sorry about all the sniffing and everything hay fever season just sort of started today i think this morning um oh that's going to be a super big paw okay wow that'll be cute This is going to end up being like a. I started off as an Egyptian god, and it's going to be a Great Dane puppy. I can see that happening. That wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> Trying to get these paws done quickly. So, what's everybody been been creating this week? What did what did you craft this week? I've got a. Oh, I sent away so many of my my little sculptures so i don't have many to share only this little guy's just in the making of um just putting his coat in but i love doing these wiry terrier coats i think this is coming out so cute 
um yeah don't want to focus on that too long because i want to get back into <laughs> finishing this guy but yeah i've made i seem right do you know how i say it's funny how you get like a whole clump of of dogs at the same time i had a ton of chinese crested all at once there was a season for havanese dogs um and now there seems to be a run on miniature schnauzers which is totally weird like i can go years without making a chinese crested or a miniature schnauzer and then suddenly a ton all at the one time in fact there's some t with the miniature schnauzers i'm not gonna lie there's a couple of people that have ordered and i go to make one and then i make the next one and i look and go is that is that the same dog has two people ordered the same dog from me thankfully it's not happened to my knowledge yet but it is like oh <laughs> oh am i making the same thing <laughs> so uh, Doris, do I have any cats? I do indeed. Cats are hard. Ever, right. Everyone who's, who's felt and is nodding along going, cats are hard. Um, I have a few tutorials because we've been working on cats. We did, was it before Christmas? Sometime not that long ago. Christmas was quite a while ago. But sometime not that long ago, I did um, a load of cats to practice doing the cats. Um, if you look um, for a full body... I've got a small, I've got videos of a small cat's body sculpture, but also uh, the large cat's body, like this, this kind of size. I did a Siamese type cat. So there's a tutorial on that in two parts. I did the body and then the shape. Uh, we've got some cat's head videos and the, two, the 3D picture videos as well. But I'm still getting the hang of cats as well they're getting better i will i've had quite a lot of orders from cats this year and my small cats are getting a lot better so i'm close to having another tutorial for them soon and i mean tutorial rather than me just sitting stabbing i mean actually showing you how to make stuff um uh, maria maria sorry i can't speak like even easy names i'm struggling with Hello from Brazil. Hello, Brazil. Yay. I love your videos. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you. Oh, guys, right. I, I don't do this very often. But if any of you haven't subscribed, I am I'm going to check on my computer. I am super close to getting 7,000 subscribers. So if anyone hasn't subscribed, there's no no special thing happens at 7,000 subscribers. It just makes me super happy. So if you haven't subscribed yet and you want to and you like my videos, then feel absolutely free to hit the subscribe button. Um, give us a thumbs up as well. There we go. There's my shameless shameless self plug. But but yeah, if you enjoy the videos and you would like to, I would. I haven't hit a milestone on a live stream, so it would just be kind of fun. There's no, there's no special thing that happens. It just makes me happy. There we go. <laughs> there's my shameless plug. All right. So what's what's everyone else been working on this week? Um, I'm trying to remember. This week certainly it was a cat. So there's that little Jack Russell. Oh, did I share? I can't remember. Had a Labrador as well. I really like doing Labradors. He's got such a kind little face. He was kind of cute. Um, but he's a very fuzzy Labrador. I haven't heard back from the, the owner if she likes this yet. I hope so. I quite enjoyed making him. Um, what else? Schnauzers. Three miniature schnauzers this week. Um, and... Is that all I've made? I feel like I've been working forever. Um... But yes, because I'm felting flat out that way, I haven't had the chance to make too many tutorial videos. But I do have it in the planning. I do have some hopefully seriously cool videos in the planning. All right. Oh, little dog. I really want I really want to felt this till it's absolutely perfectly smooth. But at the same time, I want to I want to get something by the end of this live stream. I don't want to leave you hanging um, with a strange little dog um maria has has subscribed already thank you so much i appreciate I, I know that most of you will have and i totally appreciate that i was just for any any lurkers it 
out if we just be nice. <laughs> um, Maria, make a tutorial for a golden retriever. Yep, I certainly, I certainly can add that to the list. Um, definitely, they're a popular breeder dog as well. And um, the biggest difficulty with with them and Labradors that I found was just finding the right color. Um, this this tan golden kind of color it took me forever to find um and i actually have to ship that in from america i cannot find that in the uk at all everything is darker or more yellow so if anyone knows of a decent supplier but people keep pointing me in the direction of people and i i order and they and it, always people send me a mustard color and and it's it's not mustard you know what i mean it's not that orangey way so i've i found a supplier but i only have one so it always makes me nervous when there's a real popular thing that there's only one supplier and it's a long way away because if she stops being a supplier then i'm kind of stuck <laughs> so right <clears throat> the body is nowhere near firm but i think you guys let me i i think there's something there with the sort of that upright pose so i'm gonna try gonna try and work on his head a little bit well i need to i need to beef up his neck slightly but i don't want to go crazy with it because he has such such a delicate neck so i'm going over a couple of wraps for his neck and his head is very there's very little stop that it comes down and just a tiny bit so it's a long narrow head so i'm going to see what i can do about that and it's very very little i don't think i need it much longer than that we want quite a small head so and this is where i should have made the wire i i should have done his head and neck slightly longer and his feet slightly shorter but that's that's me so I'm just making this ever so slightly longer and felting it a little bit. I really, really want to sit and felt it for like two hours and make it really smooth and firm and wonderful. But we'll just we'll just do what we can. Um, right. So he wants to have not too much additional face. <laughs> so I'm gonna. This is hard. Usually I would sort of make a ball on top, but it looks like more sort of jaw muscles, more like how I would do a dragon. So I'm just kind of wrapping around a bit top and bottom to give it some thickness. Let's see how this works out. So that looks fairly awful, but we'll work on felting it, see what happens. Again, nerves. This is by winging it <laughs> winging it's difficult <laughs> i would prefer to have already made something and be able to tell you this is how i did it but no no i decided to go let let's wing it straight off and see what we end up with i'm i'm still thinking we might end up with a great dane puppy that that would be cool <laughs> no determined now it's going it's going to be anubis so I'm kind of pinching out to make the nose longer and narrower and thinking, thinking pointy as I felt. Let's see how we get going with that. I might even have made the neck a bit too long. <laughs> I've made the neck too long. So I'm going to bend it over a little bit push the head back this is the thing right don't worry about having to manipulate stuff with your felting <laughs> i do this all the time i still want it really upright but not quite as long as what i had right i think that's better i, I could stick wings on this and it would be a dragon wouldn't it <laughs> right you're not listen to me wool Today you are not going to be a dragon. This this is not the day to be a dragon. You are going to be you are going to be an Egyptian dog. 
But yeah, I get quite a lot of people are now. I, I remember I used to do it myself. You'd be like, well, I started off making this and then the wool decided that it was going to be this. And that was so cool, felting things and just having the wool decide where it was going. But once you're getting a lot of custom orders, once you're working for customers, I don't get to be Leonardo da Vinci and um, just go, oh, yeah, I'm going to make stuff for you and go away and doodle helicopters and things. I, I have to make, I have to force the wool to do what I want instead of it doing what it wants, which is a bit of a pain, but I'm sure you'll understand <laughs> there. Just really trying to get that pose right. I think, yeah, I think that's better. That's better. Starting, I'm, I'm thinking a little greyhoundy. And just sculpting away at him. Right. Just checking everything's running fine with with the stream. Um, if you guys can let me know, is is the sound and the picture and everything okay? Is this clear enough? Because I've not done many of these with the new Google Hangouts. Um, but yeah, everything's saying it's okay. <laughs> right, right, right. Back to my picture. And this is just the bit, <laughs> Lily, exactly. Well, I know you wanted it all. Someone orders a nice, spends a load of money. Can you can you make my dog? <laughs> Sends me hundreds of pictures, wanting a picture of a dog. Well, I know you wanted it, this beautiful, I know you wanted your golden retriever, but he was saying dragon to me. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if I could just, like, give people what I felt like? <laughs> <laughs> and they just liked it but yeah that's not really how the world works is it <laughs> sadly that would be so cool yeah <laughs> so Lily do you do custom work with your jewelry or do you do you make what do you make what you're wanting to make and people people just buy the finished piece so I think custom would be awesome, but really stressful as well, especially with jewellery. But I am not in love with this just now. I'm thinking, I'm still thinking the next too long, but it might not be. What do you guys think? Um, there's something not right. I'm, I'm going in. I'm, I'm going in more. Okay, yeah, that's doing it more. Yeah, right. I've just got to hold it in, <laughs> hold it in place with a bit of force, and felt it how I want it to be. I just was not in love with what was happening there. Yeah. So most most people, when they do tutorials, they know how to make things. They have a plan. <laughs> I, but th this is how I felt. I, I don't make loads of something and learn a pattern. I make one thing and get bored and go on to something else. Um, yeah, I think just pushing his neck back a little bit further. Um, I might have to thicken up his neck, but I'm, yeah, that's... Sorry, little dog, I'm manipulating you quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm feeling happier. Uh, yeah, Lily, that sounds creative. Lily generally makes what she wants and goes with what the wire and gemstone suggests. That sounds awesome. That that sounds much less stressful. <laughs> just just make what the make what the materials tell you they want to be. This is certainly telling me that this is definitely fighting me. I'm I'm having to stab him stab him to behave that. I want a dog. I don't want whatever you want to be. <laughs> okay, it's getting there. I think once we get the other things in place, and I think the neck is its too slender, so I might have to deal with that shortly. But I'm feeling it a bit better. Just a little bit of be casual violence. Casually beating him up, stabbing him, forcing him about. I'm going to get this one demonetized for I don't know what I'm saying again, am I? But yeah, a bit of casual violence, and he's he's looking more dog-like. 
I think, I think, I think if I make the ears, then I might start feeling, well, I'm going to add just a little more around the top of the neck here. That looks far too wishy-washy. It's not a weakling of a dog. And I think I'm feeling happier. But I can always add more as I go. Yeah, I think the neck was just too thin. It, it's strange, but some they always go through ugly phases is the problem. So I'm not sure if this is just an ugly phase or I'm just hating it. So I'm just squishing down the head a bit more to get, get the neck feeling shorter. undignified positions you want to see some of the bigger ones like when i was making the battle giraffe i was filming most of that but i did a lot of the firming up not filming it and basically i had like legs all over my body as i was trying to get him into an angle where i could see the bits i wanted to to felt with he, he was very undignified <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you try and try not to have a, a hoof up your nose or something as you're trying to get into one area. Right, right, right. We are getting something. I did say about ten minutes ago we would get on to doing the the ears, but I am desperately wanting to get something out of this neck. It's annoying me. Okay, getting happy. Now the base of the neck's too thin. Yeah, I can see that. Definitely needs more at the base of the neck. Yeah, I think I don't want his chest sticking out so much. I think that's maybe what's annoying me. So we'll smooth out this area. One of the dogs has farted. It's quite stinky. Be, be grateful you don't have smell vision. All right. Okay, so the more I felt that'll slim down a bit more, but I'm I'm feeling that a little bit better. I'm, but we've got to move on and do the ears. Um Susan, um Susan, yeah, um, greetings. You're asking what people are making. You've an order for chi six chickens, hand size to go. Awesome. I have not made chickens. That sounds fun. Right. The, these ears have to be massive. Um, yeah, and it's the perfect time of year for chickens. I really should do. All I did was, I believe, in the maker's box with the 2D pictures, I did a picture of a chicken. It wasn't very good. My fault, not the maker's fault. Um, but I've never made an actual chicken. That's something I should do. I'm not very good at birds. Um, but, yeah, I would I would love to. I've seen some of the people can make some really fantastic birds now. There's, yeah, there's, there's some great artists doing that now. Um, and even some of the shops are selling, um, some of the felting shops are selling feet that you can buy or you can create your own feet. All right, um, that's way too fat. I want quite a skinny, massive ear. I should right, bump him up a bit so you can still see him. <laughs> nope, you can't. And, oh, my camera's been a pain. Right. There. <laughs> Yes, my little dog. Okay, that's not working. You can't see him, but he'll he'll come back in later. What I think is probably going to have to happen here is I'll get like three quarters of this dog done, and then I'll have to go off and finish finish smoothing it because yeah, you guys are <laughs> not going to want to to watch me sit for like two hours just making this super smooth. So I'm happy with it. And the other thing I would love to do, a lot of the sculptures of the dog show, because it's a kind of sight hound type dog, um, they show the ribs and everything in them because these kind of sight hounds, you should be able to see some of their ribs. And I would love to do that, but I just don't think, well, it's fairly easy to do with the ribs. It's just going to be like 
three lanes down the side. I might do that once I get once I get him a bit more firmed and less floppy looking. So we'll see. What's everyone think? Is this going to turn out okay? I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out now. I'm a bit nervous about it, actually. I was okay, and then I kind of thinking this is not really going to work, but that's where the fun is. <laughs> I'm sure we'll beat him into some kind of shape. Ooh, ooh, only got 14 subscribers left to get to 7,000. Not important at all, but... <laughs> Sounds fun. Anyway, so 14 subscribers left. Do we think we can make it? I don't think so, but I think we'll have 7,000 before, before tomorrow, I think, the way things have been going. So that'll be awesome. I'm just looking at some of the other pictures of the, the Anubis. I love the, the cartoony images. Um, so much detail. I, yeah, I want to felt one. I, I want to. <laughs> again, Lily, rather than just say, you know, say to customers, you're getting, you're getting what you want. Just like, I'm sorry, I haven't made your sculpture because I got distracted and wanted to make Egyptian gods instead. Really sorry. <laughs> I don't think people would take that too well. I'm wondering if this ear is going to be too giant or just giant enough. Oh, actually, it might, because it's still got a bit of felt in to go. It might be okay. I want to get it fairly firm um, and really nowhere near as wide as this. I'm felting in a little bit now because that is way too wide for an ear. And the other thing in the picture, it does have a gold inside to the ear. So I'm thinking of trying to do that. I'm in a bit of a hurry. One, I'm not in a bit of a hurry. I've got nowhere to go. I'm I'm here. I'm here until we get something that I don't hate. Um, but I'm not taking my time as I would usually. And what I would possibly tend to do to do a different coloured lining for this ear, but not be felting through, you know, getting lots of little bits of yellow coming out the back. I would probably felt another yellow triangle onto the black. Um, not on separate from the black and then stick them together but I might just add the yellow to this once I'm happy with it we'll see we'll see and I'm just looking at his little face because the the, the god has the wonderful Egyptian eye makeup and eyebrows um, in the, the gold colour. And that is going to be so fiddly to do because his, his head's turning out to be quite a small size. So we'll see how that goes. But I'm looking, looking forward to trying it because that's, that's the thing that's either going to make or break him, I think. That's going to make him really cool or really awful. <laughs> Uh, Samantha, hi there. How are you doing? Good to see you. Uh, we've got a got a nice wee crowd today. And um, so those of you who's who it's not not the end of your Sunday <laughs> like it is here. It's the back of five at night here just now, but I know it's the morning for the rest of you. So what's what's everyone's plans for the day? You've got anything anything awesome planned? I am just watching. Both of the dogs are fast asleep twitching and whimpering slightly in their sleep i wonder what they dream about poor thing <laughs> but they look so peaceful i would love to just curl up and have a nap myself <laughs> terribly lazy um but yeah today oh share share with it this one's for mom but um while i was running about trying to think of things to do well facebook this morning was not playing for me i was trying to do some work i was trying to get on the Facebook groups. I was trying to let you all know that I had this live stream coming up and Facebook was so not working for me. So I did the switching it off and on again. Um decided to to leave to leave everything for a little while. So went off to bake some cookies. So I've figured out some keto cookies, um sugar-free carb low carb cookies. And I made them. And when they came out of the oven, I was trying it going, I'm not sure, is this nice? I'm not really sure. And at a whole cookie, just thinking whether I liked it or not. Um, so they weren't bad. But, oh, when it's cooled down, 
I've I've got a keto cookie if I, <laughs> I've just got to sort out the recipe and and mum will, will send you over the recipe hazelnut chocolate chip almond flour cookie <laughs> very nice um yeah that's that's been my day pretty much doing that just walking the dogs and doing my little jack russell felting and yeah that's been about it it's been such a such a fast day i don't feel like i've got anything done right so that's one triangle done i'm going to try and make a triangle it's quite thin i would normally felt it a lot more but 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 i want to i want to get something that looks good mum it really is i was surprised it worked because i followed utterly no recipes for doing a doing a keto cookie <laughs> i just I it was oh if anyone doesn't watch there's a youtuber that i watch that's called emmy made in japan and um she's a girl i think she lives in america just now but she's lived in japan and i think that's where her channel started and she does lots of different cooking but different cooking things um and japanese foods and all sorts of things but she'd done a, a cookie taste test um last night and that's what obviously had got it in my head um but she's got some really cool things she's the first person i saw doing the um pop in kitchen the the food kits the food play kits whatever you'd call them um that we did in january um so that that's where i got that idea from um so but yeah she's got a really cool channel and what she's been doing another series on that was really great fun is she bought a whole load of real exotic fruits that i've never heard of most of them before and she's been going through tasting all of them and showing you when they're ripe and all sorts of things which is super interesting um so my local my local asda used to occasionally get in some different tropical fruits and that was always fun to try things that we don't normally get here pretty much everything apart from an apple or a plum or a strawberry is exotic in scotland we we don't have the climate for a whole lot of fruit oh rhubarb rhubarb's known in scotland raspberries what else mum come on to tell me you know these things um but yeah we don't have climate for i'm gonna say anything exotic if you live somewhere exotic then these things are normal for you um and certainly no citruses or tropical fruit or will grow outside in scotland a whole lot and then someone's going to pipe in and say no that's rubbish i've grown grapes and olives and things yep i said plums mom i got there with plums yeah um, <laughs> we know about plums because when when i was a kid it wasn't in scotland where we grew up in england we had a couple of plum trees out the back garden and they just they didn't do much they didn't do much and then one year they just went bonkers and literally, um, we used to joke about this, but it'd be like anyone that turned up at the door, you know, the postman, the milkman, here, do you want to sit here, have a bag of plums, take these. <laughs> we just had so many, but they were awesome. They were good fun. Um, just one tree. All right, it was just the one tree. I, I didn't remember right. Uh, yeah, so just from one tree, we had loads. So that, that was cool. I've, I've often thought about putting putting up a plum tree but i know i would just kill it about i can grow strawberries strawberries are good and i can grow rhubarb and everything else dies or i forget about it 96 pounds 96 pounds of plums came off the tree in one year okay that's that that that's a person worth of plums <laughs> Wow, crikey, yeah, that, that's a lot of plums. I, I see why we were giving them away. Ras I can't grow raspberries because um, a few years back, I decided to try and grow raspberries and I spent the afternoon digging, clearing a bit of ground, digging it over and putting in some raspberry, whatever you call them, sticks. <laughs> they were sticks, putting in these these raspberry things um put them in for it did everything right watered them 
came inside, made myself a cup of coffee and sat down. And Mia came running in from the garden and dumped at my feet all the sticks that I had planted. <laughs> so just, it was like, I fetched you the sticks that you planted. I was like, great. <laughs> my dog just dug up everything I planted. So the raspberries didn't survive due to Mia, <laughs> basically. Uh, Lily, the jam making business beckons. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think I'm. I'm sure Mum made jam. Um, definitely, we had plum crumbles and plum everything. <laughs> and the next year, only three plums. Oh no! So that <laughs> bless it. It totally must have outdone itself. Totally exhausted itself, and then needed a rest the next year. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, plum wine, yep. <laughs> I remember those demijohns in the in the airing cupboard bubbling away with different types of wines, yes. <laughs> well, that's, if, if you have too much of anything, making booze out of it is the British way to go, pretty much. That's, it's, it's traditional. Anything you... <laughs> Anything that, that can be turned into booze will be turned into booze. Because I believe, I read a thing sort of in, in medieval times, everyone had an allocation -y amount of land, a, a strip of land or something. They, they all, every home had to have enough land to grow enough apple trees to make enough cider for their household. And that's for... For you Americans, what we call cider in the UK is not what you call cider in the U. I think you call it heavy cider, which is weird. But but cider is boozy apple juice. It's not just apple juice. So, <laughs> but yes, the there was a thing of having having enough apple trees, having enough land to make to have the apple trees to make the cider. Right? How are those ears? Oh, actually, for me. They're fairly similar size. I think I'm going to skip the yellow bit on the back because I'll just make a mess of it. No, it is a kind of, I'm just looking, all the other Anubis, Anubises or, oh no, there's, a, yeah, I'm seeing some Anubises without the, the yellow. So I'll go without the yellow so we can get, get moving. So for the ear, I'm going to like fold it back on itself, like pinch it like this. So we've got an ear shape. Uh, Samantha, was it for health reasons? Um, possibly. There is plenty stories that um, we developed booze because the water was undrinkable. But I kind of don't really believe that. I mean, some times of the year, but this this is a wet country. Um, you know, yes, water hanging about could be kind of a bit grotesque. But... It it falls from the sky pretty clean. So I, I think that's just excuses that the history books make. I think I think really that our water's always been okay, but we just didn't want to drink it. <laughs> I mean, it, you wouldn't, I suppose not every single day. If we've had a dry few days, then yes, maybe. Um, and we certainly all... All, all Westerners um, have developed genes to allow us to cope with with alcohol, which not all other cultures have. So we definitely drunk a lot. It, it's been part of our culture, but I don't know if it was really for health reasons or more just because we liked being sort of low-key drunk all day long. Uh, Maria, oh, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, you have a great Sunday. Thanks for spending some of your day with us. Um, yeah, that was great. Have have a good day. Um, here one's on, and he's looking a little donkey like. <laughs> oh, this is hilarious! How badly they turn out when I'm under pressure. <laughs> Anubis the donkey, the donkey god, donkey headed dog, donkey headed god. Still, we might we might be onto. Actually, I'm not. I'm not hating it too badly. There's there's something working. And when I look at them straight on, right, it looks a bit daft, but I can start to see some of the 
some of the face that I think I'm going to like. So <laughs> something's happening. Um, but yeah, if anyone has any any ideas for what I can do to improve this as well, shout out if we need if we need a shorter or longer or more or less. Let me know because this this is your sculpture as well. I'm going to blame you too. <sighs> Just checking up on everything again. I'm back to Anubis. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I think his ears are more upright than I've done as well. Little, which is <laughs> means he's gonna look like a rabbit for a little while, but the ears are making me happier about the neck, if that makes sense. Even though I'm not happy about the ears at all, but it will it will come together. These these things come together, I'm sure. Well, they always have. Why why is it the one when you're being watched? I bet you, anyone who's doing like workshops or stuff, I bet you that's the time when you you've done this a hundred times and then you sit in front of people and it goes all wrong and you're trying to demonstrate to people. I bet that happens so often. So. But I, I don't think it's going so wrong. I think it'll get there. I just don't think it'll... I think this was possibly a little too big a project <laughs> to do all in one go. I probably... If I was doing it in real life in front of the TV, by this stage, I would just have the body done. I would just be going on to making the head details. I would probably have spent a good 45 minutes on getting the ears really nice and firm. So I can't complain. I'm just not as as far through the whole thing as as I hoped to be. Um, I'm. It, it would be better taking a whole lot of time. But yeah, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at it. I think he's coming together. There's something going on here. And the thing is, you guys, if you're so inspired, can do better than me um, in in your own time. And then we'll get to share, during the week, we'll get to share how all our Anubis dogs turn out. I do look, I really, I'm tempted, I'm still tempted with the idea of making like a Tutankhamun, it's not a face, it's, it's like his death mask, isn't it? But you, you all know what I mean, his, his crypt thingy words can't do words i'm really tempted with the idea of doing a tutankhamun as well but that will not be a live stream i think that will be something that i'll need to spend absolutely ages on and that will have to be after game of thrones <laughs> actually i'm saying i should watch it tonight but i'm pretty sure i won't be able to see it tonight um because it'll be on late for you guys which will be super late for me um anyone know what time what time it's showing and i'll see see where i can get it at what time i don't want to sit up oh mind you i'm not working tomorrow so i totally could right okay anyone anyway anyone <laughs> um anyone actually have any questions while while we're at it um especially any questions about needle felting and also any questions about Etsy. Now is the time to ask. I will actually, what I can do, I think I've got YouTube open. I do. Um, I can go in again and have a look at my questions for the week. I nearly forgot to do that. So questions for the week and um, see if there was any, any that will help anyone while I'm firming this up so that makes more sense um so we have question one i have an etsy shop i offer t-shirts and mugs for cat lovers owl lovers wine lovers and alice in wonderland and i'm thinking i should niche it down and have each niche as a separate shop so that was to spider lady and my thinking on that a, a shop with mugs and t-shirts for different things i think that can totally work in its own shop but the thing that i'm concerned about is doing alice in wonderland merch is really any anyone that's doing alice in wonderland stuff now alice in wonderland is great and so iconic and wonderful 
and the books are out of their copyright date so you can do things based on Alice in Wonderland however what most people do when they're doing Alice in Wonderland is from the film and it's a Disney film I mean even if it wasn't you can't do it because it's from a film it's not your own work but Disney super super more do not touch Disney stuff at all because yeah there might be thousands of shops on Etsy just now that are selling Alice in Wonderland stuff or selling Disney stuff but every so often Disney makes a sweep of shops and then they really hit them hard. I I don't know personally, but I've heard people say that they've had friends and things that had Disney stuff and Disney are now suing people coming in hard with the copyright infringements. So don't, 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 don't do any Disney stuff, anybody. Um, I'm saying Game of Thrones is 2 a.m., which means it would be on till about 3 a.m. So, yeah, um, I'll wait. I'll, I'll get Game of Thrones. So no spoilers overnight. I'll get Game of Thrones in the morning then. Thank you very much, Mum. So there's there's the questions. Um, oh, got another one pretty much the same. Excuse me. Um, I sell digital downloads of potentially copyrighted images, but shows people are breaking breaking the rules and selling them yeah exactly the same thing it doesn't matter if other people are doing it because your shop could get closed down because what you're making is not it is not yours to make so if someone comes along and decides to sue you for all the money you made from using their stuff then you're you're scuppered in in the polite terms that like you using a mumism um uh, I've just searched for certain keywords um, as as a broad term and found several listings from the same seller on the front page, but there was over 120,000 items in that category, um, and that seller's been on the front page with several items for over over a week. Now, there's a couple of things happening there for, for anyone that's selling, selling on Etsy. First of all, Etsy's stopped stopping the declumping for a while what declumping is uh, once upon a time Etsy stopped it so only one item from each seller could appear on the front page um that was to fix clumping what had happened when they first made made changes um what happened is some of the biggest sellers for some search terms you would get the entire front page being dominated by one shop um, loads of items all the same and that was called clumping and they decided that wasn't a good thing so they stopped that with what they call declumping so you could only get one of your items on the front page at a time but now they've stopped that again so that you can get more than one item it's not as bad as it was but it certainly is a thing that happens um, but the Etsy search is actually um, it's now personalized to you so if you search Etsy is aware of your location they're aware of your past history they're aware of a whole load of things so if you've been snooping on someone else's shop then what might happen is Etsy will go oh Pam really likes this shop she's been looking in there a lot I bet you she's close to close to selling Close to, close to buying things. It's hard to think and stab at the same time. I bet you she's close to buying. So if we stalk her with this shop, if we show her lots of things from the shop, she might buy. So Etsy doesn't know that you're just looking at that shop because it's the competition and you're trying to figure out what's going on. Etsy thinks you're looking at that shop because you love that shop and you're just about to buy from it. So you might see clumping because Etsy thinks that's what you want so if you're searching for things the best thing to do to not see personalized results to yourself is if you go into what's called an incognito window so if you right click on the open new window you can open new you can search in incognito window rather than just your regular thing so 
So search incognito and then that'll give you a much better idea. Um, so yeah, so that's that's a thing, but don't worry about it too much because that's not what everyone else will be seeing. Um, all right, ears are on. I'm just gonna tidy this up a wee bit more while we go around. Really, once I'm happier with this, we've only got the decoration and the shapes. It's getting better. <laughs> I'm happier. All right. Uh, a few people considering opening an Etsy shop, which I think is awesome. Um, uh, someone asking which is better, Marmalade or Etsy rank. And because I did a video a while ago on Marmalade versus Etsy rank or E rank as it's now called. And just simply, I have to say, when I, I did a comparison of the free version of Marmalade and the free version of E-Rank. And the free version of Marmalade had so little functionality. Everything you clicked on was basically, no, you can't use this, pay for the, pay for the full version, pay for the full version. So because of that, I never got a chance to find out if I liked using it. So I never went ahead and purchased it because I never got a chance to use it. Whereas with, with E-Rank, I, use, I used the free version for since it started pretty much. So then I was able to say, no, okay, I really enjoy using this. So I'm going to pay and get the upgrade. So I can't say if Marmalade's better or worse because I just simply didn't get around to using it is is the simple thing of it so if you're a software developer or something don't be afraid to give too much stuff for free because if you give stuff for if, if you give enough stuff for free that people know if they really like what you're offering then they can you know they're more likely to stay loyal to you simple thing um oh here's one um help i just learned the trade in boy scouts i'm don't know if boy scouts is teaching etsy but anyway uploaded my first item and no sales in 24 hours how can i improve my shop i feel no one is going to my shop so this this is such an important question right so many people have massively high expectations and I'm not having a go because I was exactly the same made my first listing put it up and literally you just sat back and going come come on in sales you know you just expected it's like any other things when I started promoted listings I thought oh no I'm going to start you know what happens if I get too many sales what happens if everything sells at once but selling online's not like that for the majority of us some i mean less than yeah it's around five percent of sellers on etsy have more than ten thousand sales to put it into perspective that there's not there's not that many really so most people most sellers don't get their first sale in their first day they don't get their first sale in their first week they probably don't get their first sale in their first few months sadly that's that's just the fact of it so we just need to have better expectations really um which is depressing but that's that's the way of it right i'm just sorting out his back legs a bit but i'm getting much happier with with him not perfect but i'm happier Oh, Choco Mints, which is Pat, I believe, um, planned on joining in, but just remembered to have to watch on catch up. Oh, no problem. <laughs> um, it's been been good fun anyway. Um, and thanks. Thanks for stopping by. Totally appreciate it. Even I, I appreciate this is a big, big chunk of everybody's Sunday. And I totally love hanging out with you all. But I know that other people have lives. So you can't you can't spend every minute with me. Right, how are we doing for the, the chat? Um, yeah, people asking about tax in their in their different countries and everything. Oh yeah, the, here this was a good one actually. <clears throat> Someone was starting wanting to start up on Etsy, but Etsy was saying they had to register as a business to not have to pay VAT. Um, 
so what that is is for all those small businesses we aren't certainly in the uk this was in france as well which was the same and a lot of other places we're simply not big enough to be registered for vat but large companies would register for that and they get a code that means they're not paying vat i think they do, i think you pay vat and you can claim it back things happen if you're a big enough business you're not paying it in one way because you're paying vat in in your actual sales whereas we're as little guys aren't so yeah we don't have to be registered for that um whereas the big shops do okay i think that's that's through most of the questions and in that time of randomly felting this little guy he is to my mind looking a lot more like i wanted him to look like so let's head back to the picture computer head back to the picture there we go <laughs> i had a fear for a minute there that it crashed and i'm going to add his little bit of decoration and then we're nearly done i think now yeah i want to felt that for a whole lot longer but it's starting to look like what i want it to look like i've also not given him a tail um we'll come on to that i just want a tail i'll just do a little bit of wire and just do a tail that loops up around his leg a little bit We'll, we'll come to that. <laughs> I've already done that in my tidying upness. But I want to give him his makeup first of all. Right. Um, oh, how am I going to do this and show you guys? I'll. Is that possible? Does that. Well, I'll do, what I'm going to do is I'm, for his eyes, I'm pointing a needle at my eyeballs. I won't. So I'm going to do kind of a straight line and then a little eye shape and then i'm going to put a blob of black into the back of it that's the easiest way i can explain it i will attempt that and attempt to show you but i don't think i can felt it and actually have it on camera with where the camera is please work please please work um so yeah just I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. Oh, such such great viewing. I, I can't quite show you what I'm doing because it's too fiddly. <laughs> but this is also really little. I was the most worried about getting this bit right because this is what makes it Egyptian rather than a... See, if I'd just given this black and tan markings, it would pretty much just be a Doberman. <laughs> And actually quite a cool Doberman too. All right. That's not quite gone how I want, but I still think I'll be able to recover it. So we've got a yellow kind of eye shape. And to that, I'm just going to add a little bit of black to make it look more like it's it's just outlined rather than a blob, a blob of yellow. So dive in with a circle of black show you what I've done there as you can see not bad and then I'm going to give him an eyebrow I think his ears are going to get in the way I wanted his ears not quite where they are but that's that's the story of my felting is I always put the ears in the wrong place but I'm just taking off a bit of this yellow and rolling it into a thread Oh, I think I can just manage around the ears. Just about working. And I'm felt in a straight line just above the eyes in a Egyptian shape of an eyebrow. <laughs> Again, I will show you that in three seconds from now. And I think that makes quite a lot of difference. It shows up much brighter on the camera and much more derpy, but actually in real life, it's not too bad at all. Tidy it up. Okay. Um, and he is supposed to have a little bit of decoration on him as well. He's supposed to have another eye as well. <laughs> we'll come around to that. I want to just give him a little collar as well he has a kind of collar around here long enough almost 
because just the pops of colour will really help them. Again, I'm just taking up a little strip and rolling it between my fingers so it holds a little bit. I think these touches of yellow have made all of the difference. So I'm going quite, I can't. When I'm concentrating, I can't talk so much, which is really not good. Again, see if this is a pre-recorded video. I can talk over it afterwards. <laughs> but, okay, I'm going to leave his eye, his other eye. I'm going to leave the rest of the tidying this up for later because I've nearly had you guys watching for two hours, which is a really long time to, to take out of your day. So I think we're going to leave it at that. He needs his other eye on. But So what do you all think? Um, I'm going to spend a bit of time tidying him up and I'll take pictures of him. But I think that is really enough if anybody wanted to felt along and create something like him. I'm happy that the pose actually does look rather... Anubisisi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just going to tidy him up, play around with him a bit more. But I thought it was going to be a disaster. It's less of a disaster. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. <laughs> oh, just dropped the mouse and woke up the dog. Excuse me, nice close up on my very big head. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys that was so kind of you but so much fun thank you for hanging out I think that's one of my longest live streams <laughs> um but I was really worried this wasn't going to work and then he seems to just got a few things to tidy up but yay so thank you all so much if you make one if you make a guy like this or anything Egypt inspired don't forget to share with me um I should have some cool videos coming out this week and I'll see you in the live next week. Thank you so much.